let's have a look at the Swiss equaliser. And Richard, you're going to start us off on this because, well, look, we, the VAR, was there a clear push in here on Miranda? There was, yeah, it's a definite, it's a definite push. I think first you have to look at it and say the actual defending is terrible. They're all over the place. <coughs> Two me. lads at the back stick never try and come in and, and mark them up. Miranda's in the wrong position. What we've seen last night with um, Croatia and Nigeria, is a similar incident where a defender was grabbing the, the forward, gives a penalty. That's the forward taking the advantage again there. He's pushed them as he's trying to come back in. He's pushed them forward so he can't jump and he puts the ball away. But you can see the Brazilian players here, they, they, they've seen it. So the referee must, have, must know about it. So who decides like, whether that goes to VAR or not? Well, just to, to, to clarify, um, from the official FIFA documentation, it says the referee will always make a decision unless he hasn't seen an incident, which is usually something happening off the ball. The referee's decision can only be changed if the video review shows a clear and obvious error. In essence, was the decision clearly wrong? So yeah. was the decision clearly wrong there? Yes, the decision okay. was clearly wrong. That was a foul. Uh and it should have been a penalty. That was a light bulb, by the way. <laughs> That's OK. I thought it was a, a J.O. moment. <laughs> Who was that? that OK, go on. OK. Your, yeah. we're, we're slagging VAR here. Now, let's have a look again. No, OK. We, we're, we're not no, slagging I, VAR. I, I tell you, it is questionable. Well, what's Fernandinho done, doing in front of him? OK. Uh, it's Miranda. Miranda. Uh, or Miranda, rather, Miranda. doing in front of yeah, him. Yeah. And Thiago Silva is the leader of their team, and he's the guy who would normally have disorganised even if the push was there. I don't think he needs to push him. I think he's going to head that ball in the net. His yes. position, yes. Miranda's position was so bad, he yeah. has to be alongside that. Mm -hmm. he, can, yeah. he cannot not know what's happening in behind him, can he, Richard, no. as a central defender? <laughs> You've got to see the ball and see the, you, the man you're marking. Wrong. Completely wrong position by yeah. the defender, but yeah. that's one mistake by one player. That, yeah. the, the main thing is the push, because that's what the whole tournament is based around, that this VAR yes. is going to yeah. fix yes. bad decisions. And yeah. then we've seen that, then we're discussing with our, the foul on Jesus is a penalty, but the referee's just like yeah. not yeah. having yeah. it. Yeah. You know? well, so, as we've said as well, the, the mm. VAR official in the broadcast centre in Moscow is watching absolutely everything. Mm. If they the referee's decision on the field stands, but unless there's something, as I said, clearly wrong, right. well, he if can you, call if them back. If you get the Jesus incident up, if you I don't can know, do call we have it up, one? yeah, I okay. think we called All it. Right. There's two angles on it, and he clearly was manhandled and dragged down. Yeah. In, I, and the ball okay. was there. That was a goal chance. It wasn't given. Consistency is always going to be a That's problem. The trick. Yeah. Uh, and, you know. Uh, on the understanding, on my understanding of VAR, is both of those should have gone to the VAR people and one, mm. that goal would have been disallowed and two, it should have been a penalty for well, Brazil. Yeah, no, and again, this is where like, we're all getting used to this thing. As I said, the referee makes the decision, the VAR guy uh, is looking at it. If he feels there's a problem, he can tell the referee. But he looked at it as well and he felt there was nothing how wrong. How can he not see that it's something well, I, I wrong? Don't know. I, 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 that's I, the yeah, process. That's that's the well, process. OK, yeah. it, might be, it might be a debate on, on the penalty incident. Yeah. But you can clearly mm. see that the, the Brazilian defender... You know, here's the, the Jesus thing. thing. Just make right. your point. Well, have a look at this and, and yeah, complete your point out. Finish the point down. Okay. But this is, in my view, clear. He does really well, Jesus here. Now we see this from the other angle, and he is manhandled. He does really well to turn the centre half. First, he's got his arms around him. He's pushed him to the ground, as he's, he can't advance and strike that ball mm. into the net. He had, he did exactly what he did. He rolled the centre half. Uh, and the centre half reacted by putting his arms around him and stopping him getting did to the Jesus ball. Did Jesus over exaggerated a bit? Well, he did or? a little bit, okay. but he, it was still, in my view, and I think the lads agree. About, now, penalty, here's yeah. what the problem could be. I understand there's four guys watching the, the, mm -hmm. the thing upstairs. Mm -hmm. So you've got a committee. That's well, no, not good. It, it's no, no, I know what you're saying, but there, there is, like, there's the VAR official, then there's the three, their assistant video assistant referees. Yeah. Follow me now for a second. But they're looking at different things, you know, and they can... They okay. can but you, there is a process there, of course, and there is yeah. a, a committee, but they're not all going to make... You're not getting four different views on one decision. Well, let's look to Rugby Union. We saw Ireland yesterday sure. morning playing Australia. Yeah. If there's a doubt, you go to the uh, match official, third yeah. match official, TMO, it takes uh, a minute and the right decision is sure. what, you, yeah. what you get, justice. Mm -hmm. And that's cost Brazil uh, three points. We yeah. saw a goal for France the other day, a penalty given for France, yeah? Mm -hmm. When there was a trip in the box. So they've, they've watched that and then they've called the game back and said to the referee, you need to look at this again. So why can not 
They do it. Like, you have a committee here, Dara. You have four known. people here. Yeah. All said it was a clear push. Yeah. yeah. It was a natural break in the game as well. Yeah. Because the ball's gone off. We well, can see on the Jesus when the keeper actually picked it up. I'm not defending so it, boys, but I'm just by. saying that no, obviously it's, it's, the VAR official felt there was nothing wrong well, as well. It's confusing mm. for all the fans watching, sure. either on television or in the stadium. Mm. It has to be pulled back and yeah. disallowed. We're and then the other thing is the relationship is maybe only six nations or plus the Southern Hemisphere in rugby. The guys know each other, trust each other's judgment. They may be here, you come from all over the world. There is not, uh, there's no relationship or yeah. rapport mm. between them and uh, guys don't want to stick their neck out. But it, it, it will discredit the system and I'm for it. Didi is strongly yeah. against it mm. because he believes um, you know, it stops, it, stops, it stops the flow of the game. But it, it was costly today for Brazil. Um, and which is right, I think, and, and Liam, when they say that even without the push, where, were the, where was the Brazilian organisation yeah, yeah. for well, the corner? We said at half time that the Swiss, you know, they're still in this game because the Brazilians were casual, they were overconfident, and they could always get penalised or get punished from a set piece, and it's happened. Mm.